Mind District is an online platform and app that enables healthcare organisations to provide digitally enabled therapy. The platform includes practical functionalities such as video calling, online treatment interventions and a content management system. Founded in 2008, Mind District is used by therapy providers across Europe to deliver personalised care to more than a quarter of a million people with the use of technology. As well as healthcare providers, we also work with universities, workplaces, employee assistance programmes and social enterprises. As a digital service provider, we work with sensitive data on a daily basis and are very much aware of the responsibilities that come with this, which is why the data we've reported on as part of the following insights was collected anonymously. During the coronavirus pandemic, we've seen a huge increase in the demand for our platform's video calling functionality. This feature allows therapists and their patients to conduct their usual regular appointments via a secure video session rather than in person. Of course, face-to-face -face appointments in many places were impossible during lockdown. So the services we work with across Europe have seen this functionality as a welcome benefit. It's interesting to note that we've seen a surge in usage in countries such as the Netherlands and Germany. However, in the UK, despite a large spike in interest surrounding digitally enabled therapy, actual usage data hasn't seen as much of an increase for the UK specifically. During the height of the pandemic, our platform saw 70 times more video calls when compared with the period before. This has been measured by analysing the amount of minutes that were spent specifically on video calls across all of our customers' platforms. Now that much of Europe is opening up again, these numbers have started to decrease as many services are allowing patients to return for face-to-face -face appointments. But the number of video calls we're currently seeing are still significantly above pre-coronavirus levels. When looking at usage across our platform in general, not just video calling specifically, during the peak of the pandemic in April, we saw a 300% increase in unique users on the Mind District platform. As part of our response to the pandemic, our team of in-house intervention developers created a set of coronavirus-specific online self-help modules. These were developed to help patients deal with some of the issues stemming directly from living in isolation. These included a module to help patients combat loneliness from being isolated, how to stay physically fit and healthy while spending so much time indoors, and how to be more mentally resilient during the pandemic. These were very popular, particularly the module Mentally Strong During the Coronavirus, which was Mind District's second most used module during the pandemic. We also saw a large increase in usage among many of our existing non-coronavirus specific modules, including building self-esteem and mindfulness. Based on our experience during this time and the insights we've gathered, what do we think the future holds for the digital healthcare sector across Europe? We see that the usage of software in mental health care is now widely accepted following the pandemic as part of a healthcare provider's treatment options. And the fact that we've seen many customers in Europe opting to start 100% digital clinics shows that this trend is not going to go away. Senior stakeholders are thinking long term rather than just a few months ahead. They're committed to digital and are changing internal policies in order for them to be able to scale up quicker. This is a major change. Before the pandemic, our implementation process was generally carried out in person as customers preferred this to online. We had to quickly change our process to make it 100% online enabling us to continue onboarding and training new customers virtually. The uptake that followed these implementations have exceeded our expectations. We've been impressed with the resilience that our customer base have shown during these testing times, continuing to offer their high quality of care 
to those who need it.